NVMe is an abbreviation for Non-Volatile Memory Express, while SSD stands for Solid State Drive. While both are upgrades to traditional hard disk drives, HDD, they differ in performance. In this video, we will explore all there is to know about NVMe SVS, SSDS. We'll examine why use one over the other and why today's data centers are implementing these updated storage drives. So, without further ado, let's get started. NVMe, or Non-Volatile Memory Express, is an interface specification that allows storage modules to interface with your computer. In layman's terms, it's basically a thing that tells your computer how to read what's on the storage. SSD, or Solid State Drive, is a type of storage medium that you can use on your computer. In layman's terms, it's basically the place where you actually store your stuff. What's the difference between NVMe and SSD? There is no difference because the two are two completely different things. NVMe is a type of modern interface specification that a lot of SSDs nowadays are using to achieve higher speeds, whereas an SSD is simply something you store data in. There are many different potential specifications that an SSD can use, but we don't have to bother with all that here. The main point is that all NVMe SSD drives are SSDs, but not all SSDs are NVMe drives. For example, you can have SATA SSDs that don't support the NVMe interface specification. But the problem with that is that the SATA interface is inherently limited to transfer speeds of around 600 MB slash S. An SSDs can be significantly faster than that. So more modern SSDs instead opt to use the PCIe, Peripheral Component Interconnect Express interface instead. PCIe 3.0 can support transfer speeds of up to 1 GB slash S on a single lane, and PCIe 4.0 doubles that and PCIe 5.0 doubles that, though there aren't any PCIe 5.0 supporting SSDs currently. And if that wasn't enough, consider the fact PCIe SSDs can use four PCIe lanes to transfer data. So, basically, a PCIe interface using SSD can be significantly faster than SATA SSD. What are the differences between NVMe SSDs and SATA SSDs? So, now that we have that out of the way, we can actually compare something that's comparable. And I know that after my whole spiel up there about how NVMe is an interface specification, and SATA is an interface, it's weird to compare the two. Technically, they can't really be compared either. If we were to be accurate about it, we'd say PCIe SSD vs SATA SSD, or PCIe and VME SSD vs SATA OSI SSD. Physical differences, both types of SSDs can come in both form factors. You can have SATA M2 SSDs, and you can have NVMe 2.5 SSDs. But an important thing to note here is that even though they share the same form factors, they have some other physical differences. M2 drives have keys that prevent them from going into incompatible sockets. And when it comes to 2.5 drives, SATA SSDs have different connectors from the NVMe U2 SSDs for the same reason as the M2 drives. Performance differences, NVMe SSDs are significantly faster than any SATA SSD. It's not even a competition. For pretty much anything and everything you can think of, NVMe SSDs are better, but they aren't exactly needed. See, most applications these days aren't really all that optimized for NVMe speeds. So even if you have a super fast NVMe SSD, you're not going to see that much of a difference over a good SATA SSD. The main areas where they can benefit are mostly in productivity areas. Do you transfer multiple 100 GB files a day? Do you use applications that write thousands of smaller files to disk? In those cases, an NVMe SSD would absolutely benefit you. But if you're looking to cut down on system startup time or increase gaming performance, an ultra-fast NVMe SSD isn't really going to do much for you. We are almost wrapping up. These are the distinguishable aspects of these two. Hope you liked this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.